hello and welcome in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own quiz based game so this is going to be a simple quiz based game where you have questions and then you have answers and once you answer it correctly you move on to the next stage so I'm going to start from scratch so I'll click on create a new project and then I want to click on empty game I'll add a couple of scenes by clicking on my plus sign so I have two different scenes so I have my first scene opened let me go ahead and open my second scene and what I want to add is the background so I'll click on add a new object and click on sprite I'll add an animation by clicking on add so I have my animation added I'm going to rename my animation as desert and then click on apply I'm going to get into my other scene which is my scene 2 and I'm going to add my background also so I'll click on sprites click on add animation and click on add so I have my second background added and I'm going to call this and click on apply so I'm going to drag my background onto my screen Well, where did it go? 25. Okay, so I'll drag it again. So I have that on my screen. I'll get back to a zoom in format and then get back to my new scene. I'm going to add my desert also to my background right here. So now that I have my backgrounds added to my stages. I need a question so I'm going to add a question so I'll click on add a new object and then I'm going to add a text I want to resize my text to something bigger so I'm going to go for 50 and then the name of my object is going to be a question and then I'm going to type in my question what is the name of my best friend best friend and click on apply but before that I want to get back and then check the board so that way it's bigger and looks more bolder so I have what is the name of my best friend as a question I can get back and then add a question mark that way it looks more like a question and click on apply so what is the name of my best friend and then I'm going to add some possible answers so I'll click on add a new object and then I'll go for my text and the first one is going to be This is going to be my answer one that's what i'm going to name my object and then i'll click on apply i'm going to duplicate this and this time around the name is going to be answer two get back into my edit object and change jane one two Haley and click on apply so I can drag my first answer right in the middle of my screen and then need that of my question and if it looks too small you can always resize to something higher so at 30 and you can even add italics that way it looks more beautiful in terms of design and then you can get back into the answer too and do the same thing increase this to a 30 and then check the italics box and you can drag your answer onto the screen so hey and then i need the last answer 
so i'll duplicate my question two sorry my answer two and then i'll get into my edit object and change this from Haley to happy and click on apply so i can drag my third answer down here so now that i have three possible answers i want to set the sound to the correct answer and also set the correct answer to move on to the next stage should in case the one playing my game should click on the right answer other than that when the person clicks on any answer that is wrong the person will just still be in the same screen so i want to get into my new scene events i want to add a new empty event and i'm going to add a condition so i'll click on add condition i'll get into my mouse and touch and then i'll click on mouse button pressed i'll go for my left primary and click on ok i'm going to create a sub event i'll click on add condition mouse and touch click on the cursor should touches on an object and the object is my answer one so i'm going to duplicate this so i'll copy i'll paste copy and then i'm going to paste so now i have three of them i'm going to change the answers to answer two and three so now i have three of them each going to give a different sound so in this case i'm using sounds to indicate to the one who is going to play my game that the answer the person has chosen is either correct or wrong so left all mouse button is down i'm going to set my add action and i'm going to add a sound by typing audio in my search panel i'll click on play a sound and so i'm going to just use a click so with the sound of a different click so i'm going to increase the volume to 100 and click on apply i'll copy this i'll paste and then i'll paste that also get into my player sound and change the sound to a click two And likewise, I'm going to do the same thing to my last. I'm going to pick a click three. So now I have three different sounds for each option. So let me just go ahead and run the game just to test if the sounds are working. So you have something very off if you don't set your screen to a full screen so let me go ahead and get that done i'll click on add a new empty event let me drag this downward and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the full screen mode so add action i'll type in my search panel full screen so i'll click on full screen and i'll set it to activate and the aspect ratio is going to be no and I also want to add an escape button so I'll click on add condition and type in here key press and this is going to be an escape and then I'll add an action which is going to be my quit so I'll type in my search panel quit the game click on ok so with this I can get back and launch the game once again I still have the same thing 
Let me enlarge my background a little bit and then test the game once again. Okay, so I think this is way better, but it's still a little bit too far to the other side of the screen. Okay, so what is the name of my best friend? Once I click on Jane, I have a different sound. If you can hear that. And then Haley has another sound. Happy also has a different sound. So right now I've not set them to move on to a next stage or to show if any one of them is correct. So I'm going to do that. I want to play my sound only once. I'm going to add a condition and type trigger. I'll click on trigger and click on OK. I'll copy my trigger once and I'm going to paste that underneath each event. So my correct answer it's supposed to be Haley. So I'm going to set a scene to that of Haley, which is my answer two. So I'm going to get right here, click on add action. And here I'm going to type scene. And I have the option change the scene. So I'll click on change the scene. And the name of the new scene is my next scene, which is new scene. Two. Now click on OK. So let's try that out. Run my game. So I click on Jane. And I get a sound, it's not moving to the next stage, so obviously it's wrong. I click on Haley and then I move on to the next stage. If you want to make it more perfect, you're going to have to add more test. So here yeah, I can add correct, change the color to a green. I should rename that so let me get back to renaming it that's correct and I want to duplicate this and have my object name as wrong and here's also going to be wrong I'll set the color to red so red obviously shows that you are wrong and I'll duplicate my wrong again to wrong one so it is I can just drag wrong to the wrong answer which is chain and then wrong one to the other wrong answer which is hey and then correct to the correct answer just right here in the middle let me zoom in a little bit it looks smaller okay so the correct answer is rather Haley. happy is wrong and jane is also wrong so at the beginning Whoever is playing my game is not supposed to see that Jane is wrong, Haley is correct, and Happy is wrong. So I'm going to hide each and every one of them. So I'm going to create a new scene for that also. I'll drag this up, what, and then it's a condition. So at the beginning of the scene, I want to add an action. Sorry, I want to hide. So I'll click on 
wrong answer so wrong one let me duplicate this paste change it to wrong and the last one is going to be correct so I'll copy or paste and then change from wrong to correct and click on OK so these are going to only show if I click on any one of my answers so my first answer is wrong so I'm going to set wrong to that let me get back to my new scene I want to check something okay so Jane was wrong so I'm going to show wrong and I'll do the same thing for my third answer also so show wrong one this time around and click on ok and then copy and paste my correct to the second answer which is Haley and I'm going to show that click on ok so with this I can just get to my new scene and run my game So if I should click on Jane, you see there's a wrong, it shows it's wrong. If I should click on happy, it shows it's wrong. So obviously the correct answer is heavy and then it moves me to the next stage. So that's how a quiz works. So we are going to do this over probably 10 more scenes. If your quiz is that long, if it's a 20 question quiz, meaning 20 different sets of questions, you're going to just duplicate the same thing over and over and over and over with different questions and different possible answers or answers. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and until next time. Bye.